This quick tutorial is to help you find out how to import MIDI files into Logic Pro 10. I'm going to presume that you've already started Logic and that you've told it that you want to create a new file. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a track of some sort so that Logic will let you um, do the import process. I'm going to suggest you create a software instrument to start with. Ultimately, we're going to be deleting this track anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just that as you, if you've got a live microphone anywhere near you, an audio track could start to create some feedback, which could be quite unpleasant. So I just hit Software Instrument and create that. Once you've got that created, you want to be able to just see your desktop where you've got your MIDI file sitting. And then it's simply a case of clicking and dragging that file into Logic. As you do it, you want to make sure that you're bringing it right to the start of bar 1, because that's going to import it right at the beginning. When it asks if you want to import the tempo information, yes, you definitely do. That's going to be very useful for us. It doesn't take long to process the file. And once you can see those tracks there, you can see that you've gone through the import process. Just a little bit of tidying up to do. Uh, the first thing you can do is you can click on that first track that we created. Uh, you can delete that just by hitting the delete key. Uh, the top track that comes in in this particular file uh, is a header type track. So it doesn't contain any musical information that we particularly need. So you can delete that one too again just by clicking on the track itself hitting delete which will take out all of the information from the track and then delete again will delete the track itself that leaves you then in this case with all 16 tracks that were supposed to be part of the MIDI file and then you're ready to start the whole mixing process